Welcome back everybody to Western Wilds. Your host was not the most, aka Mr. Blue, Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing? I just uh, come sit down for a little bit, move some stuff into the trailer, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of close. Kind of close. Show you what we got on the other side. Look at there. Look at there. I, I backed in though. I backed in without hitting anything. I cannot get it out without scratching it. But folks, I hope y'all are doing all right. I am doing this good myself. Uh, been looking around, seeing what we can do and stuff. Um, as you know, only, only thing we got. Let's go on here real quick and shut this off so I can hear myself. Uh, only field we got is field three. So I'm like, hmm, what can we do with field three? I was going through here looking at the tab, and I was like, I'm going to search the lease farmlands. So as you can see here, it's going back up here to the very top. This is the one we own, 6.45 hectares. I don't know what that is in acres, but y'all can do the math for me. As you can see, most of our fields are around... 68, 70, no, 68 to about 85,000, give or take, you know, they're all a little different, and I'm just searching down through here, I'm like, it's got to be something that's a little bit cheaper, like maybe in the 60s, and I come across $21,250, folks, for field 27, and, and field 30 ain't too bad either. I just kept on looking, you know, and I'm like, hmm, that one really stood out like a sore thumb. And field 61, but it's only one. I didn't look at that on field 27. 1.68 hectares. Field, what was it, 27? Yeah, was 6.94. So let's, let's check it out real quick. 27, and what was it, 61, I think? 27 is this field. No. That field. And I don't see a 61. Was that right? Field 61? Yeah, 61. Hmm. All right, now Will's Field 61. Let's see, let's go to here. Oh, it's not that. Is it this? Could that be Field 61? Uh, 20,588. Let's go up here. 20,588. So that's what that is. Okay. We got to get Field 61 too. It's not Field, but it's the area up there where you can buy stuff. So anyway, we're going to go and look at field 27, see what it looks like. But first, folks, start my engine back up. We got some grass here we can cut. That means we need a baler and a few other things. But since it's August, let's go and look at this map also. Let's see, be this in here. Now we can plant canola. And then and next month, we can plant wheat and barley. So, yeah. Thinking about some wheat or barley. Chicken likes both. But I've been down through here. I found a couple trees. And I like to never get these things loaded. But you can soon see, I got them loaded. Big old chunky fellas. That's this off this tree line right here. And let's pull up this map down here if you can see that. Yeah, right through here. I'm just going to keep it like that. And we got all these trees over here back to this side. So, 
we're going to sell those uh, load of logs today. And I hope them neighbors don't mind me driving through this here. Yeah, come straight out to this road up here and then go down. But folks, go check out the previous video. Uh, it's the first video on this. This will be the second. But check out two videos before that and you will know, explain everything why I've uh, been out of pocket for a little bit. This little truck gets up and go quick. Oh, 74 is top out speed? Whoa. Alright, let's see. Pull up our mini map. Uh, yeah, I need to turn right here. You keep you on that and we'll come back and check out this stuff here I guess it'll help if I stay on the road you know it looks like when I speed up the map goes out a little bit further and when I slow down it zooms in that's pretty neat all right, field 27. Well, I guess I ain't part of that. Is it a pole right here? Well, most likely this pole. Okay. So it's going to go up here. According to GPS and everything. Uh, probably stop at this bush. Oh, oh, oh. Don't walk through the bush. And then on over to probably this bush, and then we'll go down. You can almost see an outline here. Well, get back over. So we have that much on that side of the road. I did not see that tree. Where that tree come from? I guess that's why I should have. Okay, so we can go right down through by the tree here. I'm the property line somewhat. And this telephone pole going down without hitting the trees. Those two have to come out for sure. Uh, this is still 27. Let's say about right here. Oh good, we got a river that, not a river, it's not a river, it's just ditch area. Okay folks, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Yeah, there's area here with lots of trees and maybe we can start us uh Anyway, sorry about that folks, that alarm clock went off. If uh, I was saying anything important when that went off. Uh, there's, yeah. I think we're going to buy it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's put a bid in. See if we're going to get it. In here. Go to that mode. Field 27. 21, 250. Let's put that bid in, shall we? Um, yep, 21, 250. Okay, I, I bought it, but we're going to pretend we put a bid in. And uh, see if we get it. All right now we're gonna go back to our tractor get busy cutting some logs so we can make some money up oh yeah right here at this pole that's that's a perfect way to start I'll see y'all back at the uh oh I gotta change the setting real quick uh, where are the main settings? There. As you can see, uh, land purchase, and then we got vehicle running costs. So, yeah. Um, no animals yet. And this is only contracts we got since all the, there's no fields. Um, yeah. Um, 
I forgot what I'm looking for, folks. I'm sorry about that. I'm looking for a stop and go. I don't think it, it should be under this one. Real time. Uh, yes, two days. Uh, vehicle control. Automatic engine stop. Stop and go braking. Put that on. That way. Yeah. It comes to the stop and then it starts reversing or forward, whatever, without having to pull the trigger twice. We're going to cut across this ground here. I'll see y'all up there, folks. All right. Got the truck parked. Now I'm going to walk. Or should I say run, jog, maybe. Mr. Blue can't do this in real life, folks. I wouldn't even make it past the bar in there without giving out. Anyway, let's go sell this. I'm thinking. All right, I found the thing here. We got Sawmill North, Sawmill South, and Train Yard. Um, Train Yard's fourteen ninety eight, but I don't know if we're going to be able to lift that up folks uh we're going to try it i'm going to take it to the train yard so um i wonder if i can cut across this way i thought the motor was started there we go we gotta get us a deer or or in other words we need to get us a, a, some green paint or some uh, solid red paint if y'all know what I mean know what I mean Vern okay I'm just going to cut across I know these people probably going to be like uh, get off my land it's alright I'll come uh, mow some of y'all want me to hopefully this will bring our money back up to a hundred thousand uh, this trailer might, I mean this trailer, <laughs> this tractor might get us back, or not get us back, but make do for a while till we get something, uh, but we need a bigger tractor, and we're going to try to buy as much land as we can, folks, tools, tractors, you name it, we're going to try to do it on this, on this series here. Um, I don't know about how realistic I, I will be. Um, okay, now where's the, that's the train track. I don't want to get on the train track. I, I know I might not see the train coming, so. How rough is the bridge? See, there's already a tree right there we can clean up for somebody. It's a big old tree. And uh, Mr. Alien Jim, this is one of his signs. Cutting the signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove the water stream from this map. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, folks, there he is. The train. Oh, I wish we was up there to see it when it came through. Let's hurry up and get up there before it goes completely bye-bye. I don't know how many times it comes through, but hey, we got, actually got to see it here. Yeah, um, okay, it's on the outer tracks are good. Uh, we do have a forklift here, so, uh, which one's, oh, wrong, wrong one. Uh, go back up here. Uh, nope, I was, I was in the right one. This in here, train yard, we're going to tag the place. So now we know, ah, okay, on down here. Now I heard you had to put them inside the train.
Um, folks, I might have to bring you back here in a minute. I don't know really to where to put these at to sell. Hmm. Well, I'll have to go talk to somebody. I better shut my tractor off. Don't want to waste too much. See, we got an auger. This is actually ours to load grain and stuff into these. And nothing there. Nothing there. See, on other maps, you'll have an icon over to the side or something. Like, you have a trigger here, and right to the side of it, you can be able to click the trigger. Oh, a charging port. Okay. Well, let me see if I can figure out where to put these logs to sell them, and I will be right back, folks. All right, folks. I finally found it. It's not here by the auger. It's, you know, you see this train? It's, it's not there. You have to come on the way down here. So you start seeing the logs that I didn't see. But I see now. Oh, look here. We can put the fire out. Or we can start the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. This world is turning. Oh, wait. Okay, anyway, back to what I was doing. We're going to sell the logs. 9613 dollars. We take it, folks. We take it. Yeah. All right. So that's our first load of logs. Um, let me back out. I don't want to go out in the grass here. They might want to say something or charge me next time. You don't see very many people here, but every once in a while they'll come out and talk. All right, folks. I'm gonna get back to our place and uh, and um. Uh, Go from there. All right, I just want to come in here for a second, folks. We got a 135 horsepower tractor, and it's 87,500. And if we come up here to the marketplace, they're offering 74,150 considering its condition and stuff. They overlooked the tractor. So it was in pretty good shape, so they're like, right, well, we'll give you 74150 So I'm like, hmm, okay, well, y'all got in stock, so, I, you know. All right, on over here is the one we got. So 7487 you know, it's not too bad of a drop. And I just got looking and stuff, and... We got 161000 if we get that much for it. Yeah. We got this in here. And we got some of these others. We got a couple of John Deere's in here. That's a lot less horsepower than what we got. So we got some Massey Ferguson's. Some New Hollands. And I asked it on the, oh, the small tractor, the medium tractors. It's going over here. As you can see, it, <laughs> some of them gets on up and some of them are low. Um, Puma looks pretty good. You know, you, we got this in, which is kind of low. We got this in here. It's 180. It's still 185 horsepower. What we with? So let's see what else they got in this menu here. Now I don't know what that is. It's a uh, 6155 M. And 
I guess it's a 2020 version. We probably could get one of these. 6M medium. Large series. But it's going to be 161000 Hmm. I don't know, folks. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm seriously thinking about doing it. Um, hmm. Well, it's 7010, but this, this one right here, it's 195. It's not that much. I kind of like it. Let's see what we can do with uh, three point. See, we can put a three point on the front of this. Well, brand. We can throw those in. Those are pretty good. BKTs. See what all they come in. Uh, it's that. Alright, we can get narrow tires in that. That's what I that's what I'm thinking about, folks, right there. Roof. I think we'll keep it like that. A front fender or front loader attachment. Um, yes, just in case, you know, yeah. The 6155R gives us 195 horsepower. GPS, throw that in there, is 169. That's just a little too much there. I love green, but let's see what red has to offer. Um, be these right here. Hmm. I'm just thinking, folks. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think here. Um. That's a hundred eighty-four thousand. Hmm. 2008 Magnum. Hmm. 221 horsepower. Rock box. Three point hitch. Front weight. I said the three point hitch. Wheel brand. No, that is. Uh, we need something with narrow tires compatible. Uh, probably go with. This uh, end, maybe? Uh, we'll set up. Don't have it now. Uh, okay, we don't have. I want the capacity or the availability to have uh, narrow tires. And uh, yeah, whoa. Hundred sixty-nine. Here's one oh eight. This might be our first one here. Let's see what we can do with wheel setup. Boy, they got some real different tires and stuff in there. Uh, that wouldn't classify, or don't think it would class. Wait, 
that says narrow tires, but that does don't look like narrow tires to me. But it does if you look at that. Oh, okay, it's changing the inside. Let's we'll go with that. Um, bigger mirrors we could do. Beacon lights. Do beacon lights, front fenders. Ooh, tinted windows. Yeah, let's go with that. Tatchers, uh, weights. Let's go with the front, yeah. Front loader, tatcher. Let's go with the quickie one. And we're right back where we're at with 185 horsepower. GPS, yes, bring the 142. Okay, out of work there, the license plate. We'll do narrow tires. Okay, we're going to go ahead and. Man, I've done all that and it ain't going to. Don't have enough money. i tell you what, folks. We're just going to keep what we got right now. We're going to make a couple more loads. And uh, the next episode, we're going to hopefully buy us some more tires. Uh, what was that? I was going to check on log trailers. Uh, let's go to forestry. Forestry, forestry, forestry. Oh, right here. Um, I need something that will help me load them to. Hmm. Oh, this seems pretty legit, but I don't have a loader. Um, you know what? This thing here is 5,000. Okay, that's 5,000. This one's 5,000. That's 45,000. Um, this here is 12,000. Okay. I don't... I don't pick them up very high. Folks, I am terribly sorry about all this. Uh, you know what? This bad boy here. Does it have a hitch on the back? No, it does not. Hmm. This would help me load them all. I'm gonna buy it, folks. Okay. But, uh, folks, uh, next time we're going to have to do some yard work or something or not yard work but field work and see how to oops they're going to think I'm crazy might be just as good to bring our logs up here but then again where we're at it's probably just to go close to go to the train we'll get more for it that way I'm gonna see the our little pickup truck and haul that little red trailer we might get somebody out here to help us haul then again I don't know we might get Mr. Yankee or something or Colin or or when y'all new ones out that uh destroying 
I want to take uh, yeah I'm thinking about taking all these right down through here out so we'll have more field room and see what I can do I was going to get a stump grinder too and I forgot about it. I don't think our pickup truck can handle that. That'd be too much. But yeah, we need a, uh, where did it go? Stump grinder. Get rid of some of these stumps. But folks, that's going to conclude it in this episode. Uh, we got a log trailer, so some logs, um, we're a little shy of what we had, but we're getting there. Uh, I just want to say, uh, you know, I'm sorry I've been out of pocket for a while. Um, folks, I love each and every one of y'all, and... If y'all new, hit that red button for me, please. Subscribe to me. I'm trying to get to a thousand members. That would, if y'all show me some love by getting some new friends, you know, hey, check this guy out. See if you like him. Subscribe to him. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, hit that like button. As you can tell, I'm rusty at this. I am very rusty. But anyway, folks, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Later.